so hello everyone so welcome to this uh, warframe mathematical series so in this video we will understand the how we write the complex number in the mathematica and their representation and we will see the some operation and uh, also plot the graph of the uh, of the complex numbers so let's start our video so suppose uh, if uh, we want to write our complex number so complex number is in the form of what that is x plus iota y the so those number which contain the iota simply you can say these are the complex number and iota value is what that is under root minus y so let's start our uh, session so i am denoting my z1 z1 is my first complex number which is what that is 1 plus that is x plus um, x plus iota y my y value is what 2 and for the iota either you write the capital i okay either you write the capital i or you can also search in the uh, palette that is the iota sign so i am writing the capital I okay then shift plus enter key this take the z1 is equal to the 1 plus 2 iota now if uh, I want the second complex number that is my z2 is equal to what that is 5 plus 6 iota for the iota I am simply writing the capital I so it take it as the 5 plus 6 iota so i am taking the two complex numbers so in this way you can write your any complex number okay and this is in the form of the x plus y iota then so if i want to operate these two if i want to use some operation in these two complex number so how can i operate that so i simply write because computer has already assumed it as z1 and z2 so suppose i want to add these two complex number so what i will write i simply write z1 plus z okay so z1 plus z2 is equals to what so real part will add to the real part of the z2 real part of z1 will uh, will add with the real part of z2 so 5 plus 1 is what 6 and uh, imaginary part of z1 will add to the imaginary part of z2 so we already know about how to add the complex number we are just seeing how to give the command in the mathematica so if you don't know about the complex number so you can search the complex number by akash vesh and uh, you can see the video of uh, on my channel and understand about the complex number so z1 plus z2 so z1 plus z2 will be equal to 6 plus 8 iota because 6 uh, imaginary part would be the 8 so uh, in this way how we can operate similarly if you want to subtract you will simply write z1 minus z2 z1 minus z2 would be equal to that is uh, 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 and 2 minus 6 is minus 4 so minus 4 and minus 4 iota my x is minus 4 and y is also minus 4 so if I do z2 minus z1, z2 minus z1, so it would be different. That is the 4 plus 4 iota. So sign would be changed. So in this way, you can subtract. So now we will see how to divide. So for the divide, you simply write, suppose I want to divide the, first I want to multiply the 2 with the z1 2 into z1 then divide it with the 3 uh, into z2 3 into z2 so you can see that uh, in this way you will write your uh, function and you will get the output by entering the by uh, pressing the shift plus enter key 
so if you want to find the conjugate function so conjugated what so suppose x plus y iota is my given complex number so its conjugate would be x minus y iota so for the conjugate command we will give the conjugate conjugate command mm -hmm. I think there is some error yes now it is okay so I will simply give the conjugate command so if I want to find the conjugate of the z1 so my z1 would be what 1 1 plus 2 iota so my conjugate would be 1 minus 2 iota so by entering the shift plus enter key you will get the same result that is 1 minus 2 iota so similarly if uh, I want to find the yes conjugate of z2 so it would be 5 minus 6 iota similarly if you want to find the argument if you want to find what if you want to find the argument you will simply write the arg arg uh, denote the argument of z1 if you want to find the yes argument of z1 so it is equals to arg 10 or if you want to find out the uh, con uh, argument of conjugate of z1 uh, you can simply write the conjugate yes. conjugate then give uh, the z1 in the square bracket then shift plus enter then it is equals to minus r to 10 okay so in this way you can find the argument okay now if you want to multiply if you want to multiply the two com uh, complex numbers then you will simply write z1 star z2 z1 star z2 i have taken the two complex number you can also take the two or three complex number and you can apply the different operations okay now if you if you want to find out the mod of the z1 mod of z1 is what suppose my z is x plus iota y and if i want to find the mod of z so my mod of z would be equal to what under root of x square plus y square so for the mod i will give the command abs abs also represent the absolute absolute means the mod okay so we have the very simple command abs if you if we want to find out the absolute of the z1 then i will write the abs of z1 that is equals to the under root 5 you can also find the absolute of z2 and if we want to find out the absolute of the conjugate conjugate of z1 if we want to find out the the answer would be the same because the uh, mod of conjugate of z is equals to mod of z this is also the property which we know now we will see how to plot the graph of the two uh, uh, of the complex numbers so we will give the command that is the list line plot list line plot for this i need the two point so how we write the point so uh yes to draw the any line we need the two points so my first point my first point coordinate is zero zero see okay, zero comma zero so my initial point is zero zero to where so my initial point is zero zero and uh, my final point is real part of z2 real part of z2 comma imaginary part of z2 so uh, yes you can write uh, the uh, z2 is equals to real part of z2 comma imaginary part of z2 why because uh, we give the points 
we give the point in the form of x comma y coordinate हम जब भी कोई point लिखते हैं उसको x comma y की form में ही तो लिखते हैं y है ना because हमें line draw करनी है तो उसका x coordinate क्या है z2 का real part of z2 है okay और imaginary part of z2 क्या है उसका y है so that's why written here over here is real part of z2 comma imaginary part of z2 so in this way you can see the initial point see the cursor here that is initial point is 0 and real part of z2 and imaginary part of z2 is what real part is 5 and imaginary part is 6 so 5 comma 6 so you can see that the x axis is 5 and on the y axis my point is 6 so 0 0 to 5 comma 6 so answer would be the same similarly if I give the command that is the list line plot then my initial point if you want to take the another point that is 1 comma 1 okay or let's take 0 comma 0 okay 0 comma 0 now my final point my final point is real part of z1 i am taking the real part of z1 and imaginary part of z2 we can also do it like this because we need the point okay so i am getting the initial uh, final point to be the uh, imaginary part of z2 and the real part of z1 so you can see the graph would be like this you can see the real part of z1 is what 1 and imaginary part of z2 is what 6 so 1 comma 6 point so you can see here is the 1 one uh, where it is one on the x axis because the real part of z1 on the x coordinate and y coordinate is the imaginary part of z2 so 6 on the y axis then suppose the my equation i am taking it to be the same so i am copy pasting the same equation yes so initial point is again same and my imaginary point is changing that is z1 i am taking it as a z1 to make it clear you i am yes so now put the comma i want the uh, line color to be the red so plot style command i will give then plot range plot range is used to define the range of the x and the y axis okay so my x axis i want it would be very from it would be very from minus 2 to 2 so minus 2 to 2 my x axis and i want my y axis to be minus 3 to 3 minus 3 to 3 so let's see the graph then i will tell you the command which i am using here so list line plot my initial point is 0 0 my initial point is 0 0 Re, uh, and the final point is real part of z1 and imaginary part of z1 so that is 1 comma 2 it is my z1 okay that is 1 plus 2 iota <coughs> then plot style is red so what uh, happened with the plot style that red colored line come out to be as a result then plot range what did so with the help of the plot range what i did i restrict the x axis that is from minus 2 to 2 you can see the x axis is vary from minus 2 to 2 and y axis varies from minus 3 to 3 so this is the use of the plot range so in this way you can plot the different different graphs so suppose if i change the x and y axis suppose i change the final point of the x coordinate i am taking the z2 comma imaginary part of z1 so your graph will come out to be like this so if you change the uh, imaginary part uh, of uh, from z1 to z2 then your graph would be like this so you can see if you change the final and the initial point your graph will 
come out to be different different so suppose if i change the initial point that is one comma one so graph will come out to be like this so in this way you can plot the different graph okay and i hope you understand how to uh, uh how to give the command of the a complex numbers and uh, how to plot the complex number graph and how to operate the two given complex number so if you understand this video please like subscribe and uh, share this channel and thank you for watching this video keep connected and uh, stay healthy